with russia uh, it's a it's a very uh, old and trusted uh, partner of india uh, and we are approach to a lot of international and regional global issues are very similar uh, so it's it's uh, to be expected that the two leaders would have an exchange uh, of views on on different issues uh, uh, at the last uh, summit in December 2014, the two countries had also uh, adopted um, a vision document called Drushba Dosti uh, for strengthening our partnership. Uh, and uh, we expect to sign uh, uh, a number of agreements covering a very broad range of fields. Some of them are still kind of, you know, final touches are being given. Russia has been a very major military and strategic partner for India, so there will be a lot of discussions on that. Uh, and uh, similarly, on the energy and natural resources side, uh, oil, uh, even uh, coal uh, to some extent uh, 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 is an area where we have a lot of interest in working with the Russians. Uh, then, uh, traditionally, uh, I would say actually historically, Russia has been a very important technology partner. Uh, so, whether it is in supercomputing, whether it's in heavy engineering, uh, on space side, uh, particularly satellites, uh, even uh, when it comes to energy on the renewable side, these are all areas where uh, we, we think that there is much that we can do with uh, Russia. Uh, of course, uh, as a political and, and strategic partner, there will be political issues, state of the world, different uh, issues that at, that at this particular time are important, will come up for discussions. And finally, we have a very strong people-to-people -people, uh, relationship with Russia. Uh, I mean, in, it expresses itself in very different ways, so you can, uh, you can, uh, you will probably see some moves to, to encourage tourism, facilitate travel. Uh, so those are also areas that we'd be working on. Russia is concerned, uh, I think the, uh, the Russian support for India joining the UN Security Council as a permanent member has not been in doubt for many years now. It's been stated uh, at very high levels uh, publicly. Uh, and, and I would say confidentially uh, as well. Uh, so I, I don't think the issue is are they for India or not for India. Uh, there are countries where that question can be asked legitimately, but not with Russia. I think the question, uh, the, the, the issue which we are discussing with the Russians is what is the optimal way of reaching that goal? Now. Uh, obviously, we have certain views on that and they have certain views on that and, you know, both of us have considerable experience in working the, with the UN system. Obviously, as a permanent member, uh, there are a lot of things, you know, areas where they, their, their experiences and their interests uh, guide them. So, this is very much a subject which we discuss with each other and we discuss with each other as two countries who have great confidence and trust in each other. So, we don't at all doubt the Russian commitment to see India as a, as a permanent member. And I can tell you, even when uh, External Affairs Minister uh, was in Moscow, uh, if you recall, I mean, it, it took up a considerable portion uh, of the discussions uh, with Foreign Minister Lavrov. I expect that this would be a continuing subject of discussion. At a conceptual level, uh, both the Russians and us agree that uh, the Syrian issue needs to be resolved uh, through political and uh, diplomatic uh, means uh, and uh, through an intra-Syrian uh, dialogue. So if you look at the broad approach to the issue, uh, I think we are sort of uh, on the same page. Uh, in terms of what the Russians are, are actually doing in Syria, uh, that's something which really they have uh, uh, decided in consultation with the government of Syria.